Hey guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 and 8 of season 2 of Is Go to a Rabbit. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, <laughs> Well, is there a laundry mat in the town? Yeah, you got money? Oh, she's gonna do it the old fashioned way. Girl. Mm -mm. I don't think I could do that. I mean, I, I would like to try for experience just in case you know, like if you were living on on your own and your laundry <laughs> your washing machine breaks down for some weird reason or someone's using your little you know, your washing machine for some weird reason too, because they wash your clothes as well. And you like, I need clothes ASAP, you'd be like, Alright, let's just go. And then just try them and then that's it. I mean yeah. Yeah, should be easy, right? I mean, that's like how to, that's like churning butter. And I got an opportunity in elementary school, so it's like middle school, um, to kind of learn. It, it was like we were studying about like the pilgrims and everything. Typically, I think almost every school had to learn about the pilgrims and stuff. Um, so we went somewhere. I think two weeks before Thanksgiving and we got to do it. And it was weird. Different. But weird. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, um, I was like, I'd rather just go to the store and buy some butter. That's too much work. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't even believe we're almost done with the show. I got a couple more episodes and two OVAs, and they'll be done. So hopefully I can get done the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. She's going to rip it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you'll get the stain out easier. Or when you put something in the washer, you put some detergent on it, rub it against the stain, throw it in the washer, put it on, and then when it's done, you check it, and then there's no stain anymore. That's what I've also learned from my mother. Oh my god. <laughs> Coconut water. <laughs> and y'all getting distracted by bubbles. Oh my god. This isn't SpongeBob. Of course, Ochako and freaking Ritsu from k would be the ones who be like, yes, let's have a competition. <laughs> yeah, they were until they got distracted by the bubbles. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I love her. She is so freaking extra just like Reese. <laughs> I mean, we all know Reese is extra as fuck, but she, <laughs> she is like another level. <laughs> it's just so funny that both of them are voiced by the same voice actress. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, thank god. It, it, you know Shadow would have been so like, oh god. See, I feel like Cocoa is just screwing with Chino. I mean, how many times? Woo! But seriously, how many times has she screwed with her? Yeah, it's Cocoa. <laughs> oh my god. See, it's just Cocoa. <laughs> Yeah, but you scared Chino. <laughs> yeah, how about like one or two? You have like, what, four? Isn't that a little too much? Are you guys literally just going to sit down? That sounds like a fetish. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, like my baby! You're so cute! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, my children. Can season three just come out now? I mean, you know, I can watch season three while I'm still watching season two. I mean, that would be so much better. I'm just saying. But I feel like they're going to have things from them OVAs, and then I'm just going to be like, I have no idea what the heck is going on. And this is why you should just did like maybe one curtain or none at all. Mm -hmm. Well, can I just have water then? Um, I ain't trying to play roulette.
Oh god. Well, you can go to a um. <laughs> you can go to a like a supply store and you know get some buttons and some thread and needle and just sew them on. Honestly, with that second one, she kind of looked like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I mean, we could still go with the bunny girl outfit. I mean, I'm just saying. But no, no, you know what? Scratch that. Chino can't wear that because Chino's not, like, what Chino's a little girl. And yeah, no, we don't. It, on this channel, we don't sexualize lollies like that. No. That's cute. That would be fine. But then, you know, on Lizzie, if you have big boobs, it's going to look over-sexualized. I know the thing. The struggle. But <laughs> you know what you got to do. <laughs> My best girl. <laughs> that did not just happen. <laughs> I'm the side of that scene, but that just got me. What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Okay, go play. Go lay down. Nope. Oh, asparagus is good, especially when it's like sauteing. Oh my god. Yeah. 
I know. I was just about to say that too. We're like, really? <laughs> oh my god, that is like the smile that pierces the heavens. <laughs> That is the fake smile that you make when you are really angry at someone and you try not to show your emotions, too. Cody! Jesus, little dog. You, you did the little cry, baby. You can't always cry to get what you want, my love. You're the baby. I know you're the baby and you want attention. You can't hang out with mom. Oh, your hair is cold. Why is your hair cold? Did you drink water? What? Oh. Okay, you're going on my bed. Here you go. Hmm. But hold on, let me let me say something real quick. How do you know? She know. I mean, there are. <laughs> oh my god! Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's what I was trying to say. How do you know if the chocolate is just regular old milk chocolate or dark chocolate and stuff? I mean, well, color wise. But really, it's like, how do you know if it's something's not in that chocolate? Like a nut or caramel, toffee, something. I don't know. No, I just think it's because she's drunk. <laughs> oh my god, she She sure will. Yeah. <laughs> no, my God. Well, you're cute when you're drunk, honey bunny, but like, mm -mm. yeah, in a way. Are you crying again, dog? 
was cold. <laughs> hey, you snapped out of it. Well, not anymore, but like a second ago, you were. <laughs> Power of love. <laughs> See, now it makes me want to make curry and then put some chocolate up in there. Not like... Can you imagine if somebody put like M&M's up in there? I'm like, you don't like carrots? Yeah, eat the carrots. They're important. Eat the carrots. Because it's good for you. It's good for your skin and your hair and your nails. Really, any vegetable is. Yeah, 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 get on it. And I'm still wondering how the heck does she even get drunk on that? But she gets drunk on caffeine. Oh. Okay, you know I gotta say this. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until the credits. <laughs> Okay, so Shadow's voice actress. There's a there was an anime that came out around like last year, between I think summer and fall, that came out, and she it was about um, alcohol, and she was in it, and that just gave me feels. <laughs> Literally, anytime seeing her getting drunk, whether it's on coffee or now that you know, <laughs> chocolate with infused alcohol in it, like that's all it is. It's so good. Like I was so freaking cute. It makes me want to rewatch that show though. But, oh my god, my Ronco. <laughs> he got drunk in two different shows, and it's so freaking cute right here. Okay, seeing Chino drunk, like, I mean, oh my god. <laughs> that was so adorable, I wanted to die. It was so freaking cute, it made me want to cry. Like, oh my god, you just want to hug her and cover her and stuff, and like, it's okay. Because, <laughs> like, you know how when you're drunk, you're either that one who flirts. Um, you probably talk too much. I'm one of those. I sometimes talk a little too much. <laughs> and I flirt a little bit depending on who it is. Um, or you're like that needy drug and you just want to dance with me. Sneaking stalky stalker sort what? <laughs> it is a weird title for a, for another episode. Okay. Like alright. Even the fact that these girls spent their day literally washing clothes, the old fashioned way. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. Okay. And also washing curtains. It was very interesting to see that because, like, typically, as I said, you've only really seen that in, like, Thanksgiving specials where they go into the pilgrims and the Indians and everything. I've never truly seen um, someone, unless it's, like, a reenactment and you're going somewhere where they do it. But, like, the only time that I've seen it maybe, like, now is when you play, like, the Sims 4 Laundry Day stuff back and you're, like... Oh, well, I'm too lazy to put my stuff in the wash and dryer. Let me just do it the old-fashioned way and just bada boom, bada bang. Or if you had freaking Island Paradise and if you really didn't want to live on electricity, then, yeah, The Sims 4 <laughs> laundry day. <laughs> Stop that <again. laughs> Oh my god, my 
my stomach hurts now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so stupid. What the hell is wrong with me? But honestly, that's what it was in a nutshell, like literally. But it was cute. I mean, it was just, you know, hey, cute girls doing cute things all the time, anime. And you know, yeah. They're gonna make an anime where it literally is girls for like 12 or 13 episodes washing clothes. And I'm just gonna be like, look how far we came, guys. <laughs> The day, the day that freaking happens, somebody is going to be like, Deja, remember when you said? <laughs> 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 I mean, come on, think about it. We have cute girls in isekai, you know, yeah, cute girls doing the isekai thing, cute girls doing cheerleading, cute girls making games, um, cute girls, um, being in love with other cute girls, because that's the current trick. Um, cute girls being in love with bunnies. Cute girls um, playing instruments, K-On! and Bendity. Um, cute girls doing whatever. So, you know, hey, cute girls, let me, you know, do my own laundry. I don't even know. What what would you call that? Like, honestly, give me, like, a, psh, give me a title and we can make up a story right now. And the next, you know, several years down the line, it could get very popular. And then, bada boom, bada bing, there's an anime for it. <laughs> Which would be really interesting. I can't imagine if somebody really would watch, like, a 12-episode series about cute girls washing their clothes. <laughs> For 12 episodes! I, I'd probably watch it. I'd watch it. I'd be like, yeah, it's cute girls doing their laundry and just always reminding people to wash their gloves. And, you know, that's like if it, if it was, like, um, if it was cute girls drinking water. That can just remind you every single day. Drink water, and then I mean that was like freaking on a guy muscle, or um have a, how heavy your dumbbells lift to say hey here's cute girls well cute teenagers in a way working out you should work out <laughs> That's really what even though everybody had mixed feelings on dumbbells and I enjoyed it for what it was and I don't think it was like trying to be like over and saying like hey you need to work out like da 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 I, I feel like the message of it was spread very well personally in my opinion. Okay, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 8. Okay, episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm, cute girl's ironing. Oh, sparkly, guys. Yes! Wait, well, geese come back. Chia, what the hell? What's wrong? What? Are we serious? Uh, okay. Um. What did y'all fight over? Because <laughs> I really want to hear this. I, I feel like it's going to probably be something like funny, but then kind of also stupid. Maybe. Just like a teeny tiny bit stupid. Like a little disagreement, that's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't pick you up. Go lay down. Go. I, I love you. Go lay down. Lay in your bed. <laughs> If she don't come back by the end of this dang show, I'm gonna be so pissed. Mm -hmm. 
this show will make me work out want really want to work at Starbucks. And the nearest Starbucks is like 15 minutes away. That or Dunkin' Donuts. Cody. No, no. Yeah. What the heck happened? Well, yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. You two are not in the same class. Yeah, you just literally did a Shinobu Alice move. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Shino was so upset about Alice not being in the same class as her. <laughs> Golden Mosaic. Oh my God. Uh, it was the end of the world for her. But then she had cotton. <laughs> See, I feel like if they did me, like if she, <laughs> if Shinobu met. I was like, oh my god, oh happy day. Another blonde to my harem. <laughs> well, yeah, we all know that. We've known that since season one, episode one. So, you just gotta find a way for them to make up. It shouldn't be really that hard. Well, you can, well, you've talked to Shadow, so maybe you need to talk to, you know, Coca, and just to get both sides of the story and then bring them together. Because it isn't right to just hear just one person's story and not the other. Yeah, I think that's what it's usually because I don't think it's my teacher or whatever. See, in middle school, I had to always worry about if any of my friends were on like our same like team and such because we had teams in our middle school, and I had that also in high school as well, which is uber weird and such. Like I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Coming. <laughs> I told you. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's cute. My God.
Of course. Yeah. You got something that you all adore, but then you got also something that was about your actual personalities. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh. Hey. How you doing? But what if Coco was Well, you know, this is why she's an airhead for a reason. We'll still be able to see each other every day. Oh, God. No, I got a weird feeling that you'll be in the same class. Watch. Something mysteriously is going to happen, and then they wake up the following morning. They're going to go check, and then they're both going to find out they're in the same class. And this fighting would have made no sense. Yeah. And even if you're not in the same class, you can still see each other. Oh, God, I can't. Let me just say this. These two are so much worse. Worser is not really a word. So much worse than freaking Minako and Usagi from Sailor Moon. Like, oh, my God. Like, we all know Usagi is a bi the biggest airhead of any anime. But, you know, my girl Minako... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just can't wear her too. But you gotta love me, Nicole. Usagi. Some people hate to love her and love to hate her. <gasps> Aww. So? Oh, they all went shopping together.
Mm. So then you'll be separated. <laughs> Look at my babies, I can't. No, it's just the proper way to greet someone. Yeah. It's just a nice thing to say, you know? It's being proper and having good etiquette. It's like going to freaking Chick fil A and them saying, My pleasure. You go to any other freaking fast food restaurant and they want to say, It's Gia. Yes, Cody, how are you? Because Cody, he does it all the time. My other two dogs did it too. Go lay down. Thank God, I was like, oh my God, we're about to have a whole freaking episode where Aoyama is not here. Yeah. You're literally going to tell my best girl for the rest of the episode. Okay. I mean, this is kind of giving me K-On vibes when they went to go see their teacher. <laughs> because she was sick and they wanted to see how she looked. And Shadow is stalking them. So, those two are tailing my best girl, and then my Ronco is tailing the other two. So, <laughs> basically, best girl Kayede, Aoyama, is getting tailed by the two girls in a way. Oh, she's looking at Shadow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so cute, I can't. Oh god, can imagine this like <laughs> Koa and Ricky Gia are from 
I'll be telling them, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm crying. Oh god. <laughs> is telling everybody today the whole entire cast of this show is out unless you want mocha to come out somewhere too <laughs> yeah she has that phrasing thing yeah she got a phrasing fetish oh so good Guys, <laughs> I have no comment on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no school has a shooting range. You literally have to go to a shooting range just to do that. Mm -hmm. No, you'll still be able to be best friends. You'll still be able to hang out with each other. It's really more about when you get into college and when you become an adult. That's a little bit harder because you have to think about everyone's time and schedules and everything. Maybe when you're free, they may have class or they may have to work. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they also have time for each other. But, you know, like I said, it could be different by the time you get into college and you grow up and you meet other friends. So you're good. Honestly, it was really interesting to have these two together in an episode. <laughs> Telling you. Yes, Aoyama. Write a book about that. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> I want some gelato. I've never had gelato, but like, mm, sounds so good right now. Ah, even Tiffy! Oh. <laughs> okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. 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 It should have stopped with Tippy. Tippy's Tippy's such a death in there. That was too much. That's really everybody, though. I mean, I kept thinking, I was like, wait, I don't know. We're forgetting Tippy and, you know, Chino's dad. And then also Mocha. You know, Mocha would have been behind Chino's dad. <laughs> but it was really interesting to see, you know, Maya and Liz really hang out together and literally do have a point where they could sit and bond. And for, you know, Maya to ask her questions. It's cute. And I love that about little kids. And, you know, sometimes when they are not able to talk to their mother or their father 
or whatever, they would rather hear it from somebody else who is like a sister figure or a brother figure to them. Because, like, when I was in middle school, and I was, I mean, like, yeah, middle school, elementary school, between elementary school and middle school, um, and I was living in Nebraska, and I was around nothing but um, little kids because my parents' friends all had nothing but little kids, and one family had a teenage son who was at the, like around the same grade as me, but we couldn't really talk as much um, because we were at the same school, but he was about to graduate and go on to high school and stuff, so we only really talked when we were around each other. But it's sweet, and so, you know, they want to know other things that, like, they can't always go to their parents about. So it's just, like, almost just, in a way, another opinion. Oh, my God, look at my baby. She looks so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so adorable. But, yeah, it is true. Because sometimes you need a different perspective or an opinion about a situation. And that's why I love talking to people about other things. Like, whether if I can't talk to my mom or my dad about it or like maybe any other of my family members or even close friends I sometimes it depends on like it depends on like when I used to stream because I don't know there's probably going to be a day where I'm going to start streaming again um I would get the opinion of from you guys and really and just saying like what I think I should do better and some people would agree with the things that I chose and some people would, would disagree would sit there for like maybe um like 30 minutes to an hour just discussing on why I should do this or why not I shouldn't do it and stuff but it's ultimately you know your decision and stuff so I think you know yeah even though whether they're possibly going to go into high school or because they're all in middle school right now yeah no that's like no because they're little kids so they like they gotta be like in elementary school so uh, yeah they're like an elementary school probably going into middle school and then eventually going into high school there's going to be points in time where, yeah, you're going to grow up and you're all going to go different ways. But if you still make that time to hang out with each other, that's how you know your friendship is pure as heck. But like I said, it's a, it's a lot harder, especially when you get outside into the real world and you're all going to college and things just happen. You often drift away because, yeah, you don't often really have that much time to see each other. You're working um, you're, you know, going to school every single day. You're doing something that really always doesn't give you time. Sometimes you can't even talk to someone on Facebook because of it. And you are always there to say, like, happy birthday. Or once in a blue moon, you come and say, like, hey, how are you? What's up? Da -da -da -da. And those are the one types of friendships that will last a lifetime. Like, even if you are, like, in your 30s, mid-40s or whatever. And they're still there for you. But, I mean... It, you know, things happen, and you just, it's okay. Whether you're together or apart, you're still friends no matter what. Both of these episodes were really good. I mean, they were mm, a little bit both on the emotional side. I mean, there was no tears, thank goodness, because I didn't really want to cry today. But, I mean, you know, for just the feels, way too many feels. A lot of giggles, but way too many feels. And I really wasn't ready for that, especially on a Sunday you know, I mean, I wasn't expecting at Sunday at 8.06 8 at night that I'm like, oh my god, like, the field strain in this week <laughs> is the order of rabbit. Like, it, it's just gonna get worse with these last few episodes that we have left going into the OVA. But, like, still, I enjoyed both episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of season 2 of Is the Order of Rabbit. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos... <laughs> every single day join the Metro Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episodes 9 and 10. Bye guys!